I could ask, why have you come here this afternoon? 
What were you looking for? Would it be too presumptuous of me to say that you were looking for help? That you hoped you would hear somebody who had something to say that would be of help and relevance to you as members of a world which is running into the most intense difficulty. A world beset by a complex of problems, any one of which would be bad enough. But when you add together all the great political, social and ecological problems with which we are faced, they are appalling. We are all, in various ways, self-seeking, lacking in wisdom, lacking in courage, afraid of death, afraid of pain, unwilling really to cooperate with others, unwilling to be open to others. And we all think that's too bad. It's me that's wrong. And if only I could be the right person. Is this man going to tell me something that will help me to change myself? got to I meditate in such a way that you identify with your higher self. Now, how do you do that? Well, you start by watching all your thoughts. Very carefully. Watching your feelings, watching your emotions. So that you begin to build up a sense of separation between the watcher and what is watched. So that you are, as it were, no longer carried away by your own stream of consciousness. You remain the witness, impassive, impartial, suspending judgment, and watching it all go on. presumptuous of me to say that you were looking for help.